Good morning. Oh, brick wall. Is this, this uh, homage to uh, the good old another brick in the wall? No, this is just an old, old one I'm recycling. So, how did yesterday go? Um, created, um, created the post. Went to. I was just checking this before I came on, so I could report back. And, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, different Facebook groups. Yeah. Only two so far have posted it. One rejected it, like the admin said, no, I'm not, uh, not kosher. Um, so far, what zero. The, what was the post? Same thing, inviting, inviting people to become beta testers. I set up, okay. uh, set up a beta test group. Yeah. Um, well, I basically went through, the, went through the process. So now if there's no... Um, no response and really the uh, next step is running ads yeah but the first time i ran ads oh oh there's there's another way there's a asking for um <laughs> asking for uh, affiliates i guess affiliates yeah, affiliates. So, so somebody, somebody to endorse you and say that yeah, this is uh, this is a course worthwhile taking. And right. if if they buy into the bigger program, then you give a piece of the action. And did you reach out to Kaiser or anybody? Kaiser. Yeah. MK, were you gonna? Oh, Kizer. Kizer, sorry. Kaiser. It's just like it's like World War. Kaiser so say. <laughs> mm. There's no point reaching out unless I have an audience to present to. Because reaching out to Kizer and all of the uh, some of the other people that uh, yeah. I want to do that's that's more for the purposes of um, uh, course material, right? Rather than uh, anything else, right? So wait a couple more days just to see if uh, there's uh, there'll be any traction. These are Facebook groups you reach out to. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's also, I've also created an ad on LinkedIn because it's easy to uh, target analysts. Yeah. But again, it's ads. LinkedIn is, I, I, I boosted my post on LinkedIn yesterday mm -hmm. thinking like, hey, I've been trying this on Facebook. Why not? I noticed they had a boost feature. So anyway, it's very expensive. So I thought, well, I'll just make it like for three days and spend $30. My money was gone in like five minutes. <laughs> hmm. you know what it's interesting you say that and maybe maybe i should just heed that uh uh warning let me share let me share my screen and I, thought, this, fuck, I, I just i just basically flushed 30 bucks down the toilet okay okay that's that's worthwhile to know because i i might then not do this and the reason a reason I am um, a reason I hesitated yesterday is because of this. Yeah. Check this out. So this is lead generation. Yeah. My target, everything is here. My single ad, uh, blah blah blah. But this is what scares me. So if I ran it for a week, yeah, it's not as expensive as Facebook. But this is what this is the anticipated result. Yeah. Yeah, I spent 600 bucks, but I got almost 100 people. Yeah. If I spend twice as much, I'm not nearly as close. Yeah. So, and the audience, the target audience size is very respectable. Yeah. And that's yeah, what just... stopped me. So thank you for that input. That's... Yeah. Well, that's twice now I've run stuff on LinkedIn. And I don't know. It's not that I didn't, haven't got... Like the, literally got nothing out of it, just spent money. Um, at least on Facebook, I feel like I'm getting some traction. Yeah, know. that's true. So 
So today I was sitting, I was sitting and thinking to myself, I'm not a dumb guy. Not at all. I can Why? second that. Huh? I can second that. Okay. Why is it that I can't find a way to make money? So there's and the two thoughts come to mind. One, I can't sell. Uh, and sorry, I don't this I don't have the sales skills necessary to business develop, which may be true. I mean, I can I can sell to people who are willing to listen, but not to uh, not not how to find cold traffic. Okay, so let's let's assume that's the case. Hold on, just. Remember how I said I always forget to close the door? I forget yeah. to close the door. At least um, you're consistent. So, so, so let's assume that that's true. And yes, I am playing with my yo-yo. Helps me with thinking process. Okay, granted. So what's the solution? Solution is you find somebody who can sell. Yeah. So what we've done, what I've done, what you've done, we've invested in courses which teach you, like teach a man to fish, right? Yeah. And that's fantastic. But it, in my case, um, not that it didn't teach me anything, it works, but I'm, I'm having a feeling that uh, you still need a list or a list of affiliates to do things, or I'm not targeting the right um, problem. And which which very well might be the case. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's 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 like um, what would be what would be a business solution be a business solution to what because i'm already thinking okay i know i know how things are done yeah great so why not um why not do some of it and why not try to put stuff out there and see what sticks just just like you're generating content you're you're uh you're searchable you're findable people can uh find out who you are yeah. So that is um, maybe that's the way. Yeah, oh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it has could be like, the, the model of know you, like you, trust you, mm -hmm. and then matching that up with perceived need is like, I believe that I believe in that model. So um, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I feel like everything I'm doing is helping ratchet me up on the allowing people to know me, trust me and like me. Um, and and now, and I, I think I have things that are, are perceived needs for things. But like you said, like, I, I'm still going through iterations to find out what is the sweet spot for each of those mm -hmm. things. And I haven't found it yet. Um, I don't know. One of the things I'm, I'm, I've realized though, like the internet's a big place, right? So there's a million and one people out there trying to do the same thing we're trying to do. So it's, it's not, um, and it's one of those things like, this whole thing wasn't even in my awareness prior to starting to do this. And now mm -hmm. my feeds are full of the Amy Porter fields of the world and a million other people who are funnel experts or, you know, people who are saying you need ads. Other people say you don't need ads. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, I listen, yeah. It's, you know, it's... The, the, the whole, there's a, so there's the whole spectrum of of things out there and then you see you know you see some people being widely successful and you uh, you get the sense there's all kinds of people out there who are struggling so um well and even those outside of the names that we know for a fact are successful yeah. 
there are a lot of other people who just like you and I, they're, we're like, you fake it till you make it. Yeah. You try to inspire people with an idea and you um, not so much pretend, but you convey the appearance of success. Yeah. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that because technically all, all psychologists tell you that that's the right way to go about it. Yeah. yeah. Like in my course, I mean, there's 30 of us, mm -hmm. 29 or 30, we're all trying to do this coaching thing. And so, I mean, this, like my program is churning out 30 new coaches every six months or so yep. into the, the web of verse. <laughs> um, statistically, we're not all going to make it like it's statistically not, it's not going to happen. So, uh, and, and, and my course is one of probably thousands of courses that are doing the same thing. Right. Yep. It's just, if, if you think about like Amy Porterfield's course creation course webinar that I watched, apparently she had hundreds of people signing up for it. Well, that's hundreds more people trying to do the same thing we're doing, building courses and trying to sell them. So, you know, it's creating more competition, maybe not for solving the same problems, but, um, you know, I have no delusions that this is going to be easy. Like, uh, you were talking yesterday about Brian and circumnavigating the globe on a plane to try and sell what we knew was a great product. It was a great product, yeah. um, and people still didn't want to buy it. And uh, and it not only was it a great product, but it was like ahead of its time. It, it was basically free because you know the the way the model was set up, it it wasn't you know it paid for itself and then some in terms of the way the, the model of how it generated revenue. So, um, you know, it's, it's not, it's not going to be easy, but uh, it's not uh, being successful at it is not out of the realm of possibility either. Um, I was thinking you just, uh, what you said, um, it's interesting. I like these conversations. Uh, what you said just crystallized a thought in my head. Another idea. Bum, 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 bum. Confetti. Um, do you think there's a place for a product such as launch course? and don't pay anything to create it. What I mean by that, similar to the model that uh, Pressman was trying to adopt, um, you, me, you and I uh, help people yep. create courses on a platform yep. and do it in much, much faster terms. So you create a calendar, like day, day one we do this, this is how we break down the content. We all do it for free yeah. in exchange for, let's say 50% affiliate fees. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much what my, uh, my partnership model is. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Essentially. So, so my thing was, if you, like, if, if somebody has their own, if they don't have anything, then I would set up their site, a page for their, their site on my site and they would pay a fee for the setup and then a monthly fee. But if they didn't need a web presence, they already had a web presence and they just wanted mm -hmm. me to host their courses mm -hmm. and they don't pay me anything. They just create their course and we do a rev share. And the way I set it up was if my involvement in creating the course is minimal, then the rev share is small. If, if it's, if I have to like edit your video and basically take your content and build the course for you, then the rev share is high. So that that was basically the and this is this is the three people that you have on your website right now. No, this is this is what I was gonna propose. Like I've I've had uh that the artist guy Reynolds that I interviewed for yep. the experience gap. So I've talked to him about it and he he said he was interested, but I still haven't gotten him to send me anything over. I was asking him, he has some pre-recorded stuff and I was practically begging him just to like shoot me over a file and I can play with it and show, show you what I can do. 
and then uh, and then the two other people that are on my course um they both agreed to meetings with me and then canceled them for for different reasons yeah. so I'm, I'm waiting to get those rescheduled so I, I don't actually have any uh anything sticking yet Greg, how about we uh, how about we uh, talk this through in, in greater detail? Sure. Uh, so what's the let's let's talk about what's the offering? Well, here let me oh, show okay. you. Sorry, sorry, show sorry, you. sorry, sorry, sorry. Bad question. Who's the client? Yeah. So let me share my screen. I'll show you my my deck. You gotta activate share screen for me. Wait, um, go, uh, and I, I, I need to change those settings in Zoom. Keep forgetting to do that. Okay. All right. Now I haven't uh, beautified this presentation yet in uh, Canva or anything, so bear with, with me. We okay okay. So the the idea is using use our infrastructure to host your web page, host your online courses, manage your marketing communications, uh, so on. So how's it work? We have a partners page. We'll create your personalized uh, page for you. We'll host your courses in our online store. So the way I have it set up, initial web page setup was two hundred dollars. Basic web page and domain name and hosting was ten dollars a month. So it was a three hundred twenty dollar investment up front if you mm -hmm. want to set up a, a, a page. And then the online course hosting, if it's hosting only, so you already have a pre made course, so I don't yeah. have to really do anything. It was fifteen percent rev share. And uh, if there's online course development, then it's a fifty percent rev share. And this down here is kind of the the, the way I mapped out the, the development level. Okay, and what's the next slide? So what are you committing to? You know, $320 is no commitment. If you grow your business enough that you want to branch out on your own, okay. then you're free to do so. Um, the only, the, the catches were that uh, any contacts that we collected while you were part of my site, I get to keep those contacts on my list. And if you branch it on your own, you're to use Kajabi, you, then you buy Kajabi with the affiliate link. Those are the things that the person's committing to. Hmm. Okay. Um, so what do you get out of becoming a partner? So you turn your dream into a reality for very low cost. You focus on your content, delivering it to the world without having to worry about the platform and infrastructure, low risk, the rewards are up to you and leverage our overhead. So here's all the stuff I've already paid for. Um, what do I get out of it? Modest income to offset my overhead, new content drive, drive traffic to my sales, live out my mission to unleash your potential, create win-win synergistic relationships with you. And our goal is to get you successful enough that you want to leave and start your own thing. So you win, I win, we both win. That's kind of the, the nutshell of it. So I have, that's what I was going to present to those two people that have, and I've shared that presentation with Reynolds, um, but I haven't got a chance to reschedule those meetings. I should actually, I was, leave, I'd left it in their court to reschedule, but I should reach out to them both individually again, just to, to poke them. Okay. So that, 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 um, that's, yeah, that, that, that's essentially that's essentially the idea. I would not structure it the same way, but then again, I'm not you. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm not, see, the thing is, if you were presenting this to me, uh, one of the biggest thing that everyone seems to be talking about is you need to build your email list. You owning the contacts is immediate, like, no, for me. Um, just, just because that's, that's the principal basis of my business. The question is, why would you want contacts? Why would I want contacts? Yeah, why would you want their contacts? Why would you want ownership of those people? You are essentially just offering B2B service. All of those contacts are going to be B2C. 
yeah, because I also have B2C uh, content. Okay. So the idea Okay, is, do you want to go head to head or do you want to partner with us? No, we're partnering. Because we can do we can do so your presentation um, the way I would shape it is I would start off with a, with a bit of um kind of uh, again breaking uh, not breaking balls. <laughs> but essentially that's that's what yeah you're essentially, you're essentially gonna decompose. I have the content to decompose what it costs to start a course. You saw my, uh, you saw my guide, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is what it costs to start a course. What if, what if you were to start a course with us and you can choose a platform? You want Kajabi? No problem. Downside with Kajabi is you have a subdomain. You have to have a subdomain on Team UIP. You want to go with WordPress, then you need your own domain, and that's that's you need your own domain and you need your hosting. Yeah, that's that's the thing. We set everything up for a person to be able to have, I don't know, a seven lesson course, ready to go live. Right. And we have an affiliate arrangement whereby, and this is interesting. And this is what I haven't thought through because this idea just came to me. So on the one hand side, you want them to invest in many of the tools that they will need themselves and own those tools. They don't have to, that's perfectly fine. And that's a different, that's a different, I like how you had your split of uh, payments which is, I, th I think it's, it's like brilliant, smart. It seems so easy. I mean, you can walk into this with minimal investment. Yeah, well, you can actually walk into it with, if you don't need it, if you already have a web page, or you don't want a web page, like you're just going to use a Facebook page or yeah. something, then you don't need you don't need to spend a nickel. You just need a course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we need to talk about what that means, because like heavy heavy medium light doesn't doesn't necessarily explain things because this is the this is the part where we can use um, we can repurpose or recreate uh, Miguel's presentation in terms of or build on top of what I just presented on Monday in terms of what it takes to create a course and that's free that's in the ether that's just that's just public information because you're essentially scaring people into understanding the value that you and you and I are offering. Yeah. So then you have two different choices of platforms. One by it's it's um, this is the thing. If you go with WordPress, you need Active Campaign, like no doubt, which is great because that's additional uh, affiliate revenue. Yeah. Uh, if you go with Kajabi. That's pre-built in, but you have monthly fees, regardless. So it's it's like you're you you should be paying monthly stuff uh, anyway. Yeah. Well, I mean, my my premise is, um, the, that that's the what I was trying to do was eliminate as in, as entirely as I could any friction for somebody. So so precisely why precisely. why is somebody not doing this? Well, because, well, now I need a domain. Well, that's, even if it's $5 a month, that's $5 a month. Now I need active campaign. Well, that's, you know, whatever, $20 a month. Now I need this, that's this a month. Like my thing was, I'm already, I've already paid all the monthly fees for all this stuff. So you're only, all you need to do is build a course and you start selling it and we share them. Yeah, but then, but then, right. uh, but think, think this through. Um, okay, so the person, let's say I, I come to you, Greg, and I say, yeah. Fuck, this is amazing. You've got everything, man. Uh, yeah, so here's my course idea. This is what I want to do, and blah, blah, blah. Um, this is, this is, this is kind of my lesson outline. By the way, can you help me with lesson outline? Absolutely. Here's a guy. Yeah. Uh, how do I structure my ideas? Here's a guy. Like, that's all doable. That's easy. Yeah. Course is built. Course is now going live. The person goes like out there, starts running ads, hustling, all, all of the things that you do. How do you run ads? Well, we can, here's a guide for that as well. 
clients begin to come in. Who does email marketing automation? You do. Yeah. Who writes copy? They do. Okay, great. Who, so imagine this. So for example, my campaign goes out yeah. and then somebody unopens it. I then click active campaign has this button, resend to all of the people who have not opened the campaign. You do that. Now imagine you're successful. Let's talk about scalability. Two clients, no problem. Three, four, five clients, no problem. 10 clients, no problem. 15 clients, now you begin to miss stuff because everyone's on a different schedule. Everyone's in a different phase of their development. Imagine somebody gets successful. How do you, how do you manage that? So this is, this is why I was saying is there, there are certain things that people need to do for themselves because if they don't, technically, technically there's no problem. You just increase your ref share. It's like you make it, you make it unpalatable to actually pay you. Yeah. You see, you see what I'm going, it's like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think through what would be the possible uh, comfort, comfort zone where it's, it's something that you said a while back. It's, it's like you really said about, uh, I think you were talking about Camtasia. It's like, I really enjoy doing this. Well, I really enjoy building like sites. I really like linking stuff. Yeah. But I don't really enjoy the ops side of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that, I mean, to me, that that's, I mean, that's a big part of why I use Kajabi and why I was thinking this is a good way to, to, to leverage Kajabi is because you don't have to, I don't have to worry about whether things are going to work or not from a platform. Okay, so then, then right. there can be there can be um... good job, good job. And I mean, in terms of the growth, like if it starts getting to the point where I'm too, I don't have enough time to do all the work. Presumably, I, I'm also making revenue, so then I would start looking at hiring people to help whether it's yeah. a, a, a virtual assistant or an actual employee, I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking there might be, there might be an even. And I mean, I don't, I don't have really all the answers. I don't even know if this is, is, I don't really know what's involved until you go through it with somebody, which is why I've been trying to get um, somebody to-, to uh, Oh, it's gonna be a shit show. To jump the on. only the, the thing the thing that I like about this idea and the reason I'm, I'm talking to you about this is there can be focused advertising about this yeah. like you can drive as like this is this would be the cornerstone of the business yeah yeah I mean I, I was looking at it as being kind of a supplemental thing that I did on the side versus mm -hmm. being the core of the core purpose of my existence. I don't think that, I, I think you would kill yourself if that was the case. And, and the only reason is imagine five or like six jittery people like myself bugging you every single day, especially at the very beginning. When I'm not comfortable, I don't know what I'm doing. I've handed off a lot of the stuff to some random dude, Greg, and I want this to work out. So I'm just gonna ping him a day and night and asking him, oh, can you change this? Oh, I thought about changing that. Like imagine that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's where your magic word no comes in. <laughs> yeah. Because there's a well, there's a there's a thing. I have I have zero uh, experience, and I wanted to maybe maybe this is a worthwhile time to do this just to walk through um, Kajabi and see all of the. Um, possibilities. I've priced it out and it never came close to matching the other setup. Yeah. Can you, oh, hold on. It's expensive. How? There's no, oh. it's expensive. There's no question about it. But, but uh, it's, does that's, that, that very well might be the case. Can you tell me if I'm wrong? Uh, actually, I should have asked you this a while back before doing this, but um it's as good a time as any. Allow me to share my screen. Okay. 
this is so this is this is this is basically the all in one is Kajabi. Yeah. Do you need a domain? No. They provide it to you, right? Yeah, you can use their domain. It's basically like Kajabi. No, no. If you wanted to your person like teamuip.com. Yeah, if you if you want a personalized domain, you need a domain. You, you need to buy a domain. Okay. You don't need a domain to to yeah. operate. Hosting. This is the annual platform cost, which is accurate. Um, is it? You're 129, right? No, I'm. Uh, 119. 199 a month U.S. 199 a month? Yeah, because I'm paying monthly. If you pay, if you pay for the whole year, then it's 159 U.S. What? Oh shit! Why is it so much? Isn't there a 119 plan? I think so. I have a printout from before when I had it here. Holy shit! Why did I underprice it? Let me uh, let me Google it for you. Oh, uh, oh box. There is a 119 a month plan. If you pay for the year. No, uh, yeah, if you if you pay for the year, it's 149 if you don't, but you get uh, three products, three pipelines. Um, only three products? Only three products. So your course is a product, right? Yeah. So I, I have the next level up. So that's the basic play and I'm on the, what they call growth. Yep. Which is one ninety nine a month if you pay monthly, or one fifty nine if you pay for the year. And, and that, that gives you that gives you fifteen products, fifteen pipelines, twenty five thousand contacts, ten thousand active members. Twenty five twenty five thousand contacts. Yeah. So I, I got lots of room there. <laughs> then the pro plan is uh, three ninety nine a month if you pay monthly, or three nineteen a month which is a hundred products. Shit. So I, the reason I went with growth is I, I knew I was going to have more than three products right out of the gate. So, yeah. Um, Why um, now the checkout cart you purchased because of the taxes, right? Yeah. So Kajabi does not, uh, they do not have anywhere to, to do taxes. Um, their checkout is shit, basically. I mean, it works, but it, it's not a great experience. It doesn't look legit. Like you don't have the little icons of uh, MasterCard and Visa and stuff. Um, there's no bumps. There's no upsells. Okay. Well, that, that's not true. There is a, a, a way to do an upsell, but it's the whole thing doesn't work as, okay. as smooth. Legal disclosures you have, right, built in? Yes. Uh, page builders is, is native. Autoresponder is right in there. Learning management platform is there, right? You have the drip, yeah. right? Yeah. You have the courses. Screen capture, you need either way. Checkout cart sounds like you need either way. Design is free. Copy, like that's, that's to each and everyone. Video conferencing. Can you do video conferencing and webinars for Kajabi? I, I think you said limited. No. No. You can you can you can schedule like uh, events, but the the actual streaming you have to use Zoom yep. or some other platform. Landing pages you can build. Yes. Good. Yeah. So I wasn't wow. So I was off here. Well, so there is a one nineteen. So what does that work out? That's to? that's 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 just slightly cheaper. This is one four two eight, I think. But 119 doesn't yeah. cut it. But that's US too. I don't know. Are you quoting all US prices? Yeah, this here? is all US prices. Yeah. Basically, what I'm thinking is that's that's great. 
uh, that is great. It's essentially, you can give the person an option of choosing whatever the heck they want. And it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter which platform. It just, it just seems to me that if you want it, like for example, if I wanted to, like I have, like, hold on a second. I'm just trying to understand where Kajabi is, um, where Kajabi is making, uh, not trade-offs, but, so I have right now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine courses on my platform. Okay, eight courses, eight live courses on my platform. Yeah. That would put me in your bracket, right? Yeah. Okay, you get up to 15. Okay. Now there is things like there's there's lots of chatter on the channel about um, you can sell things without it being a product. Like if you have uh, lead magnets or just straight downloadable products yep. that don't require the course platform. So, so 15 products is 15 separate things on. Yeah, but we're talking specifically, we're talking about courses, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's okay. Yeah, I'm just saying like of your, of whatever you've made here, the 10 yeah. things you've made, I don't know if, if they all are full fledged courses or if they're. Yeah. This, this, this is the only one that's a membership. This is a placeholder. Everything else is, yeah. yeah. Like especially with Thrivecart, right? Like you can, you can sell anything you want. Yeah. You don't even need anything. Without a product. Like if you, if you just had a web page. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the truth is you could, you could, you could use web pages and build your courses on web pages. And del if it's just videos, yeah. And just, so that you wouldn't have to use the, the, the course platform per se, like Grumo, he, he, his, his videos, I think are all just on, on uh, YouTube. And like you started your thing off on YouTube, right? I, uh, yes, yes. But YouTube has, um, you, I, 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 I can't, I can't disagree. The experience of having your videos hosted in YouTube is quite bad. Yeah, but I, I, what I'm saying, like with Kajabi, even though I have 15 products, yep, I could build, um, I could build a web page that just has module one video, module two video, or I could build separate pages for each yes. module, whatever. Like I, I, I wouldn't have to, I don't necessarily have to use the, the uh, infrastructure of their course, yeah, to to deliver something. I could deliver it anyway. But how do you register for that? See, well, that's you, the problem. Yeah, well, I would sell it through. Thrive cart. Okay. And you, and then when people buy it, you would send them a link. Okay. To that page. Like, yeah. Is How do you possible? protect that link? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you, you can't protect it that way. Well, no, I, I'm, I'm saying that's just, it's just, a, a, in my case, in like in, in, in the case of WordPress, everything, yeah. like every single course is linked Thrive cart. As soon as you buy. Yeah. Adds you as a member to that course. So you instantly have access to it. Yeah. Now I don't have like drip feeds or anything that's coming because apprentices they're they're working on apprentice to make it a full fledged um, like learning platform. So yeah. that's that's all good and coming. But that is the only thing is just just making sure that no one can just take a link yeah. and share it. In fact, when I bought Presto Player for my website, yeah, I I'm using BunnyNet, uh, yeah. which is the hosting platform. I, I told you about that, right? Yeah, yeah. I had gigabytes of traffic and gigabytes of videos. Yeah. I paid $2. Yeah. And and the reason I paid $2 because I think that's that's the minimum that they can charge. They I was I was actually ranking up cents. Yeah. Anyway, not the point. The point is that um, Presto Player for example allows you to protect your video with email capture. Right. So you play a video for five minutes, then an email box comes up. You fill it in, you watch the video. You don't fill it in, you don't. Yeah. And also, they have what they're calling private videos. So you can't just take the link off the web page and send it to someone and yeah. watch the video. Yeah. Okay, so enough of that. But um, that was a technical thing. Basically, what you're saying is, between you and I, we already have two versions of the platform to offer. 
And, and there can be a situation where the business model looks something like this. You want to launch, not a problem. You get to three, 300 or 250 subscribers, you need to have your own platform. You're ready for that. And we off we help you off like transfer everything because that's just that's just keeping drives and managing people's content naturally. If if you because all you have is copy video and audio, right? Yeah. And recreating that on any platform that they uh, choose is easy. What are you thinking? Um. Yeah, I'm just trying to think through how, like, that's a big piece of work. It's a big piece of work, but it also comes with uh, potentially affiliate fees. One person buys Thrivecart for themselves. I told you it's like three, um, what was it, 320 U, uh, US minus fees, like PayPal fees. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there, there's a, I think there's, um, there's two camps of people. I think there's going to be one, one camp that is like, once they get to a certain size, they want to branch off and ha do their own thing and control their own destiny. Yes. Whatever. Then there's another set of people who it doesn't matter how successful it is. They don't have the wherewithal to, to dick around with their own True. setup. I agree. Um, so, you know, there, there might be some, and I mean, the reality is, for the most part, most of the people I, th I think that join with you and partner with you are going to be at best average success. Like, yeah, they, you they'll yeah, you sell would, some stuff, but no, you know, I'm not expecting anyone to really um, become a millionaire overnight. On no, it. you're 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 banking on the fact that at least maybe one or two percent are going to hit it really big. Everyone's going to be average and pretty much 70 percent is going to are going to fail yeah yeah and like the the whole thing you were talking about like why would i want their contacts well the idea is like so in my circle of, of contacts right now is whatever 500 people if you get somebody else who joins and they have a circle of 500 people well now my circle is a thousand people yeah um and then i get another person and that i mean that that was the idea it's kind of like the coalition thing too whereas like so I get, if I had to say Reynolds and the two people for my coaching course, and let's just, for the, the round numbers, I go from 500 people to 2000 people on our collective lists. And not only do I get to send emails and interact with those 2000 people, but so do they, like not independently, but we would have, there'd be a team UIP cross communication marketing thing. Now I know, Obviously, not everything that everyone's going to sell is going to be relevant to all those people. Mm -hmm. um, but it's kind of like, you know, when you, when you start segmenting the audience and realizing, okay, well, this is what's relevant for that person. But, you know, home selling course, leadership for teens, art course, uh, yoga course, um, I don't know, specific coaching course, whatever. Like, there's going to be elements that within there that do resonate and, and give you some potential well based on based on past experience you would rather you would rather ask people when they're signing up for whoever course you're hosting yeah. to cross sign to whatever you're offering yeah to your platform to your offering because one thing is let's say there's an arts course or a music course yeah who the fuck are you to email people about music you're not, you're going to be emailing them about some of the things that you want to talk to them about. And then they get that email and they unsubscribe. Well, Reynold is going to be really pissed because they unsubscribe because of your email. Yeah. And he's going to be like, what the hell? And there is a high chance that they will unsubscribe because the messaging coming from you is not potentially not relevant to what Reynold was promising them. Yeah. They cross sign. And when they unsubscribe, they unsubscribe from you, not from Reynold. Plus, my platform can't manage that right now. Uh, can you create a separate list? You can have separate lists, but the uh, you can't segment. There, there's a way to do it. Um, uh, I've seen things in the chat about, because th this is one of the other problems in Kajabi when people do the unsubscribe. Yep. Then 
um, quite often they're they're missing out on communications about anything. But there is there is a, a course announcement feature, which is not considered a marketing communication. So even if you've unsubscribed, but you're a member of a course, mm -hmm. you still you still get that communication. But there's there's people that have created basically um, a manual way of unsubscribing from specific communications without unsubscribing from the whole platform. Okay. Yeah, I can see. I, I mean, it's great that Kajabi. It's great that Kajabi did what they have done because it's it's and it's it's. I can see how difficult it is to maintain because. In Active Campaign, I have a I can create a form. So when you click unsubscribe, you choose what you're unsubscribing from. Mm -hmm. Like all like provide provide feedback, like why have you unsubscribed? Blah blah blah. Yeah. Anyway, not the point. You can figure this out. Because if you're doing rev share, I'm just thinking that if 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 this if this is an option, then the lead magnet that I've created should start off with a page saying, "Look, here's the offer. Yeah. Build your course for free with us, and when you when you grow, you graduate." Yeah. And I know that that lead magnet has been downloaded. I mean, I got what eighty people to download it. If we work through the financial, like, so here's what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, uh, that sounds to me. Um, yeah. My only hesitation is even though I'm dabbling in this, I'm not really ready for it to be the primary thing that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm wondering if if I'm ready for that. This is um, this is again. Um, it's funny how both you and I know that. Um, we know that you need to focus in order to succeed. Yeah. You need to focus all of the energies in one spot. Neither you or I are doing that. So if smart people have been telling us to do that, why are we ignoring the advice, Mr. Coach? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, the, the so the, the, there's an analogy that Jamie uses, which is the uh, many rooms in the mansion metaphor, which is um, you know, I've got a mansion, all the rooms are all the ideas or things that I want to work on, but I can only clean one room in the mansion at a time. So today I'm, I'm in this room and I'm going to focus on this room, but tomorrow or next week or next month or whatever, I'm gonna, I might move to another room and that's what I'm going to work on and focus on for a while. So, I mean, for so, me, I've been jumping around from one room to another I beg to differ. You've been jumping from one mansion to another, not one room to another. Um, rooms, rooms in the mansion are connected. Your offering is not. Yeah. No. Well. Semantics. <laughs> Strong answer. I mean, can't can't argue with with that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I'm not. Um, uh, I mean, and, and this is, you know, I'm maybe stubborn to my own detriment, I suppose, but, um, the way I want to operate and the way I want to work is I want to be able to, to work on different things at different times. And, um, there's, I think there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, what's your primary, uh, focus. Yeah. I don't think that uh, uh, being, uh, and this is not, look, here's the thing. I was I was thinking about this yesterday because my, like I was saying, my hand hurt like crazy. Like, I don't know, some muscles, yes. I, I don't know, strain. Yeah. Um, like Yo-yo uh, action. I wish, I wish. Mm -hmm. Action, yeah. 
you know, that never that never that never created problems before. I was thinking about this yesterday because in the morning after our chat, I I mean I pulled my stuff together, posted yeah. everything I wanted to post, got everything out, um, and obviously have not seen seen a response since. And I was thinking to myself, it's like, how can it be that like I told you in the beginning, like I'm a smart guy. Why can I not make money myself? Yeah. And that that doesn't sit well with me. It's not logical that having the skills and abilities, sure, I'm not an expert in anything, but yeah. I sure as hell know what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, enough to be dangerous. Yeah. So why is it that I cannot sell? Okay, we talked about the sales pitch, but then I started thinking, am I doing the right thing? Because I was getting to the place where you were. Remember, I started off with, well, first it was women entrepreneurs, luckily that, that got stopped in its tracks. Yeah. Nutritionists. Most of them, uh, most of it are women and most of them do not care what I have to say. I've, I've tried this numerous times in terms of advertising to that particular demographic, had the worst results. Even naturopath, I have better uh, results in terms of clicks and uh, whatnot on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. And then I thought to myself, well, I'm going to do like this data analytics coaching. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm exactly following your path. Solobusiness.ca now has two massive sections. None of them, none of them coexist. But now that you've, uh, now that I don't know, I don't know why, because I know you've talked about this before. I know you, I know you talked about this concept of uh, hosting other people's platforms before. It's just, it's just probably now, well, now is now is the right time when it resonated with me. So I was thinking to myself, I like, I like doing, I like doing all of this technical stuff. I like making things work. I actually enjoy it. I know the process. I can build the guides. And uh, given the fact that my uh, lead magnet was being downloaded enough times that it made sense. Like, I mean, I was getting a $2, $2.40 a lead. Yeah. It's pretty fucking great. Yeah. Only I didn't have an offer there. I was trying to follow up with an email campaign. An email campaign can be improved if I have a service to sell. I do have a service to sell. The yeah. only thing I need to do is work out the probabilities and the math in that service. And what would be the aspects of that service? Because that service is actually multifaceted. Yeah. You can have videos. You can have audio, like all of that stuff exists. And you can create, like you said, you can create an environment where people, it's very difficult to say no when something is virtually free. You would, you would need to charge a monthly fee. That's for sure, because otherwise people are not committed to it and they're not going to do anything. They need to go in knowing that they're going to invest. In fact, if they use if they use all of the affiliate links that you could provide, you and I can provide, you can give them a rebate at the end of this. Yeah. Just like just like I sent you money, no skin off my back. Yeah. That was like that came out of the ether. So why wouldn't I do that? Yeah. I'm thinking. Um, Thinking today's episode is going to be called Hard Pivot. Or at least tomorrow, by tomorrow, or maybe even today, if I feel if the inspiration really strikes, um, I can provide you with an Excel uh, sheet breakdown of cost, uh, like the business, business model, and see if it works. Okay. I don't really need you. And this is this is just just to just to put a point point in this comment. It's it's funny. Every time I talk, I look at my picture in Zoom, not yeah. yours. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, it's distracting because it's moving, right? When I talk. Yeah, yeah. You you yeah. listen, you listen like this. I'm a statue. <laughs> Greg the Wall Fisher. It's the same way I play ping pong, just my arm moves back and forth. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> but that's that's so so the thing is um but i do believe that if we if we focus yeah and if i stop spending a hundred dollars on ads for anal uh like two hundred dollars on ads for analysts and another six hundred dollars on ads for nutritionists and this course i want to make the money back that i invested because i invested a lot of money and i haven't made anything from it yeah and i'm and I said, I'm going to sell my watch if I don't make my money back. And I really don't want to sell my watch. My watch is very good. And I would love my son to have it. Yeah. Although I haven't worn it in a year. So I guess the, que the question I have for you is this, like if you, if you think about your various ideas that you've had. Yes. So I don't know, women entrepreneurs, nutritionists, analysts, course creators, and now, and now course creators. Well, no, not now, because I already had course creators. I mean, if you think about this guide, this was not focused on anyone but course creators. Yeah, no, I know. I, I'm just saying, like, I just asking a question about if you think about each of those things that you've had kind yep. of in the works, does this one get your juices flowing the most? Like, does this feel... Like, hey, you know what? This is this is the sweet spot. This is where I want to focus my energy. And 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 does that feel like that's it is? And and can you put a I don't know? Like, do you, do you have a, a timeline in your head? So the example I'll give you is your analysting. Like, I know you've talked about the analysting for a little while, but it's only the last few days that you've actually you were acting on it. Yes. And now, and now you're you're abandoning yeah. it, going to to something else. And I'm not saying that's the wrong idea because if you tried something and the feedback you're getting is like it's not working, there's there's nothing there. Then it's it's time to move on. That's fine. No. It, so here's here's how I'm thinking about this. Uh, the the biggest the biggest challenge I find is that I am. I'm struggling to come up with a universal problem if I'm talking B to C. Yeah. Uh, nutritionist was uh, was actually close to success because it was still B to B. Yeah. Um, so analysts, I feel that I could do this. I could definitely do this, but I can do this if somebody. Um, I hate the selling process. I hate the fact that I need to convince somebody to invest in themselves. Yeah. I don't like, I don't like sales in general. How do I, I, I I'm, I'm finding it hard to explain because you have to do sales in any process, right? Yeah. It's just what you and I are talking right now. I can do, let's say I can do quantifiable sales. I can produce a metric of value easily. Yeah. Versus when you talk about self-improvement and the transformation that I talked about in the course, um, it's harder to quantify. And for yeah. me, because I am that analytical brain, I'm the blue energy, like what yeah. I need kind of, I need one, two, three, logically convince myself. Yeah. I'm projecting that mental attitude onto everyone else, thinking that everyone else is gonna, and I'm finding it hard. And because I'm finding it hard, I don't feel that I am being genuine with what I'm doing. Right. And sure, endless idea makes sense to me because I know this world very well, but that world doesn't know me. Yeah. So uh, what I'm thinking is, uh, and you mentioned this a couple of times, where I'm coming from, and probably that's not the right place to come from, but I'm coming from a place is I want to create you definitely mentioned this, a steady stream of revenue that covers my needs. Yeah. And then allows me to dabble in anything. Yeah. And I don't know if this idea is it, but I can, at least I see that, at least I clearly see a business model because yeah. with analysts, it's a constant stream of sales. Yeah. So you have a beta group and then somebody buys and you go through them, but when they complete the program, you need to do the sales again. Yeah. And then you need to knock on every door of every single company, showing them the course that you've created and having conversations with them, thinking that something will fire and something might fire. 
and then you do that course. But then as soon as you have done that course, you then go ahead to the next one and try to convince them. It's a lot of talking. And I'm an introvert. I do not like talking. Uh, sorry, I do like talking. I mean, videos, uh, I can't, yeah, I can't lie. Having, having 45 episodes behind us, yeah. 46. Maybe you don't know what introvert means. <laughs> <laughs> well, the point, the point is, we were talking at one point in time about how it would be great if you just had to do with ads, do with ads and then manage conversions. Yeah. I like that. Let's yeah. put it that way. Yeah. And because I can see the business model and I can see and I can and I, I can articulate and communicate the value that that model can create. Yeah. Plus so many adjacencies around it because Greg, don't get me wrong. This idea is what? 14 minutes old now, yeah. like in my head, in my head as a spark, it's 40 yeah. minutes old. And just like we were talking about last Friday, I got all giddy about uh, Arctop yeah. only to find out that it's not, it's not as SAS as, as I wanted it to be. Yeah. Like, I mean, it, it may, it may, uh, I may, I might run the numbers right now and tell you, dude, it felt good. Yeah. It's too much effort for the benefit. Yeah. Um, it's just, it does come, it does combine things that I like the most. It's like, I, I like building stuff yeah. and I know technology and I like figuring shit out and I like how Zapier made things possible. And it's just like yeah. when it all flows. Yeah. Does that answer your question? I think so. I mean, it, it, it seems like it has, um, tapped into something you're passionate about more so than some of these other things. It also provides an opportunity for coaching because yeah. when people are going to ask you advice and you're going to be talking to them yeah. and you're building relationship, you're building relationship, not because you, you're forcing yourself. Sorry, that, that, that came out completely wrong. But as a coach, you're selling a relationship. Yeah. This one sells a product which comes with a relationship. And because you bought a product, you step into this relationship more um, readily rather than reluctantly. Well, some people might be reluctant. Yeah. And as you step into this, like you and I are personable people here yeah. to help very responsibly. There's, there's nothing not to like about the way you and I uh, work. deliver. Yeah. So that, that creates easier references. I'll run the numbers. I'll tell you if this makes sense. Yeah, check it out. I'm anxious like, to hear what you come up with. Yeah, this is like our earlier days where we've been talking for for an hour. I know, it's good. It seems it, it seems uh, I recall I recall that the earlier QBRs uh, Brian used to Brian and Miguel used to talk about an inflection point. Yeah in a different context, but it, this is the dip before the win. You know, you know what the yeah. dip is yeah. before, you, before you actually win. This is, yeah. this is the dip. Yeah. Let's put it this way. I, I would, I would rather, I would rather this succeed than having to uh, look for work. Yes. Here, here. <laughs> I agree with that. And, and it's not geographic, you're not geographically bound. No. Okay. All right, man. Peace out. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.